here we have another question of application of derivative uh, it is a little different than the previous questions where we used to deal the rate of increase of area rate of increase of uh, volume a little it is different here x coordinate and y coordinate both is increasing of a function let me read the question a particle moves along the curve which is 6y equals to x cubed plus 2 find the points on the curve at which the y coordinate is changing eight times as faster as the x coordinate okay so first uh, let me tell you here this dy over dt represents how fast is the y coordinate changing with respect to time and similarly uh, next one dx over dt represents you keep in mind how is the x coordinate how fast is the x coordinate changing according to the time so with respect to time you know how the y coordinate and how the x coordinate is changing this is represented by dy over dt and dx over dt and now here we have a curve which is 6y equals to x cubed plus 2 okay let's say this curve is something like this in a graph if we look let's say just just a graph I'm making a rough graph all right let's say this is a rough graph which is uh, 6y you know which is 6y equals to x cubed plus 2 it's just a rough graph I'm not sure whether it is or uh, not right? for that I need to make and the final points and I need to uh, plot that in the graph just just take a look all right so we need to find out point somewhere all right I don't know where it is there must be some points where you know uh, at those point you know the question is saying the y quantity is changing means at the time if you see you know uh, at the time if you see the rate of the change of the y coordinate and the x coordinate if you see you know uh, this this y coordinate dy over dt you know and this is dx over dt according to the time all right now if you see that time then dy over dt will be eight times of the dx over dt so what is such point where is that point where maybe points maybe not one maybe more so what are those points the question is saying yeah the points what are the points where the rate of the change of the y coordinate is eight times the rate of the change of the x coordinate all right so for that let's first differentiate both sides with respect to the time so that we can get the rate okay so differentiating both sides with respect to t now so we'll get derivative so we'll get derivative of 6y with respect to time similarly a derivative of x cubed plus 2 with time so here derivative of 6 by 6 is a constant so it's will come it will come outside and again dy over dt and similarly it is derivative of x cubed so it will be 3x square dx over dt and derivative of 2 it's 0 so we don't have to write that all right and further you can cancel it here 3 times 2 so you get here 2 dy over dt is equals to x square dx over the dt okay and now uh, you can write dy over the dt equals to as a x square over 2 times dx over dt okay let's say this is our condition one all right let's say this is our equation uh, equation one okay and now one more thing we have given from the question that uh, we need to find out the points at which you know y coordinate is changing eight times as fast as the x coordinate so case two uh, from question you know from question uh, dy over the d t is eight times the dx over dt all right this is the given by the equation let's say this is equation two so see here is also dy over dt and here is also dy over dt so we can easily equate one and two so equating one and two will get the values equating one equals to two you'll get x square by two dx by dt equals to 8 times dx by dt okay so it's going to be now further let's first cancel this thing and this thing both are same you know both sides so it will be now x square equals to 16 and further 
x square equals to plus minus 4 whole square uh, which implies us that x is plus minus 4 because 16 is the square of plus also and a square of minus also so we got the x as a plus 4 and minus 4 and hence we know that hence from this you know we can find out the value of y all right so uh, when x is positive 4 all right when x i'm taking positive 4 then y will be you know uh, you know that the y is related with the equation uh, 6y equals to x cube plus 2 so from here i can write y equals to x cube plus 2 divided by 6 all right so it will be now x cube plus 2 divided by 6 that means uh, 4 cube plus 2 divided by 6 4 cube is 64 plus 2 divided by 6 that is 66 by 6 and that's going to be 11 so we got x equals to plus 4 and 11 so therefore one point we get plus 4 and 66 and when x equals to minus 4 that time y will be again x cube plus 2 divided by 6 and minus 4 cube plus 2 divided by 6 minus 4 cube is minus 64 plus 2 because minus times uh, minus times minus this minus minus will result to plus and then times minus so this plus times minus will find a result to minus so this is why it is so it's divided by uh, divided by 6 and it's going to be minus 62 divided by 6 and finally if you cut it we'll get minus 31 divided by 3 so therefore next point is minus 4 minus 31 divided by 3